alaikum hey everybody hope you're well so today's video is going to be on a review that I'm gonna do on a store a shop that um, I went to um, up in Bradford and I was really really impressed um, by the whole experience like I had such an amazing experience and I felt like I needed to share it because I it really inspired me like just going there and stuff and it really just inspired me to do this video because I was like you know what like there isn't a lot of videos like this and actually it's quite funny because I was going to do this video anyway but when I uploaded a few um, I uploaded an abaya outfit of the day which I got from the store which is www.myanaya.com and also the shop is actually in Bradford and the actual store is called Living Islam in Bradford and then they have a women's range which is called Anaya but then online they're called My Anaya um, that's with an A and I just felt like you know what there isn't enough stores like this and there isn't enough like coverage on places like this and I had a lot of comments where girls were like you know what your clothes always look so amazing but I can't afford these high-end clothes and I was like they're not high-end like the quality is amazing I am the abaya quality is amazing for the prices like everything's gone so expensive modest wear at the moment has gone really expensive um if you're living in England then it's pretty not so difficult because you can like pop into Primark and stuff but even now recently I found I've been finding it really hard to shop um in stores for like modest dresses and stuff like that every I've always had this issue but especially nowadays like this whole summer I didn't find anything all the clothes I was wearing were like our buyers and that was actual Islamic clothes from Islamic shops rather than English shops if that makes sense and um, so I thought you know what there isn't enough affordable stuff so this company I went to the store I had an amazing experience the store is absolutely beautiful the way everything is they also do a men's range um, and I ended up I got a, a thobe there for my husband amazing quality really really well priced you know the thobes are like starting from 20 pound which is really really well priced then they have homeware stuff they have gorgeous like um, Arabic calligraphy canvases, Quran canvases, you know, um, just random stuff. They also have like Bahod, they have candles, they have um, scents like halal, non-alcoholic perfume, stuff like that. They have a wide range of products. They have like um, prayer mats, like all sorts, everything you need. And I think that's really, really good. And I think it's also amazing. And like the staff were so lovely, you know, I felt really comfortable. Like my whole experience was just like comfortable and easy. And you know, um, I couldn't spend a lot of time there because we were in a rush, but the whole time we were there, it was just amazing. I had such a good, really, really good experience. And I wanted to share it with you guys because I feel like sometimes when I upload an outfit of the day or I upload an outfit of the day on my YouTube channel or my Instagram, people always assume it's high end or expensive or like before I used to do a lot of reviews but now I stopped and I just do kind of like outfit of the days but I wanted to sit down because I've been to their store I checked out everything you know I've um, tried on like a bunch of clothes as well and I really 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 fell in love with everything I think it was amazing and um, like this is my honest opinion and um, like I chose to do this video and also um like the quality of the abayas are amazing i think i believe the women's abayas start from like 20 pound like the d ring yeah the d ring abaya is oh, it's so stunning like i have one in black khaki and navy and they all look so stunning like my auntie tried it on as well you know my million um and she looks so amazing and i feel like it suits everybody and everybody looks so nice in it so as i mentioned the d-ring abaya i've worn this like you will see in the lookbook a video that's going to be upcoming and it's just like that so there's their labeling and it looks like this it has a button right at the top and everything the quality of these especially are just they're made so well and you know what honestly I'm not even just saying this but they look like something you'll find in Zara and Mango like who was I talking I think I'm 
I'm not sure. I'm sure I mentioned it to uh, one million. That's who I went with. I'm sure it was her. I was just like, oh, this is like honestly, this is so like Zara esque and mango. Like this is something you find in there. This one is definitely my favorite style there. And then it comes with a zip, very good quality zip as well. Comes right to the middle there. And then it's got like the D ring there the d-ring two of them so then you can tighten it like that and then tie it at the back you know you don't need to tighten it you can just tie it at the back it's so so flattering on the body as well like i absolutely love it and i love the way it looks it just looks so nice and i'm usually not a fan of like closed abayas unless they're like the moon boutique ones but they were so gorgeous i was like you know what i'm like i've been wearing them out and that's not something i do like i don't wear abayas out that much like if you're close to me or you've seen me you would know like i don't but lately i've been so in love with them and then the other one which is really different and i really wanted to mention this one because um uh, like when you look at it like you can't really see it now but when i'm wearing it on i literally feel like i'm in the movie divergent because it's so like that like the way the leather is there's like obviously it's i'm guessing it's faux leather um there's like leather on the shoulders and halfway down the arms then it's got like a high neck with a button and then a zip going down just a bit so you can like put your head through and stuff and then it's got like stitching details i'm not sure if you can see that and then i like toward towards the end like just by your thighs there's like two zips on either sides which are quite big it's a very sporty abaya it's a very th nice thick jersey and when i say nice thick i mean it is not see-through at all which i think is fab like it is not see-through so um it's great for like any season really i think it's fab for this kind of season right now and it's just great to just throw over and stuff i'm going to be wearing this one a lot like literally i will probably be living in this for the next month if i vlog and stuff i'll probably be in this all the time that's how much i love it oh and then this zips on the side but honestly like when i do my lookbook and you see me wearing this you will totally understand like i literally feel like i'm in divergent <laughs> it's just so cool it's very like sporty kind of casual one um i really like that that one i was a 54 in as well i'm just mentioning my sizes so you guys get an idea like i'm five foot one and i got 54 but that's usually the abaya size i tend to get and then as i mentioned they do do home stuff and i love these actually my mother-in-law has um the same ones but the bigger version and i was like eyeing them up and i literally was like i love it so much i really want one where did you get it from and she was like oh got it as a gift and then when i got this i was just like no i love this like i got this as a gift and oh it's just so so nice except these are not real candles let me just show you i actually as you can see i haven't even opened it yet because i was waiting to unbox it for you guys so here it is and it's called the jewel tone candle set so it comes with the two candles and it's got like it's got Allah on it it says muhammad um not really too sure what else it says on there because the candles are inside and you get these cap like you can put real candles inside but then you get these ones as well which light up like this so as you can see i'm gonna put that in and then the same in the other one and i love you can take these out because then you can put real candles in as well and then you get like your stones so let's put the stones in are fake candles in there and they're like that and they glow just like real ones and i love it and i love the touch of the arabic calligraphy on the inside it just looks so so nice i don't know if it's actually picking up but it's just so pretty and this scarf is actually from them and that's another thing their scarves are so unique like most of them i haven't seen them anywhere else and also like it's so crazy but their scarves like match perfectly to the allies and like i said in my lookbook you will see what i mean by that because like literally because i matched the scarves up to the abayas and i was like wow it feels like this scarf was meant to be for that dress and this is one of them i loved this i think out of all the scarves in the shop this one is my favorite one um i just love the subtle colors you know i really love turquoise 
and cream and stuff and then like you know I really like it and it's really subtle patterns I just really love this I love this scarf it's my favorite and um, yeah if you have any more questions about anything please leave it in the comments down below and I will answer them and I'll see you in my next video